Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a no-tap vampire on Tramp Wall. Now, a no-tap vampire uses very similar mechanics to both conventional vampires and pull over to handstand, so I would highly suggest learning both of those before or at the same time as you work on this trick. I've got tutorials for both on my channel, so feel free to check those out if you haven't already. Besides those, you should also be comfortable with full turns on the face and with dropping in from handstand before you learn these. As always, I recommend wearing wrestling shoes to protect your feet. In simple terms, a no-tap vampire is a mid-air inverted half-twist to handstand that starts on your back and doesn't make any contact with the wall before you catch. This version tends to require a little more control than a regular vampire because you don't get to rely on a foot tap to initiate your twist. To do one, start by doing a very low power drop-in from the top of the ledge. Your placement in the bed is a matter of personal preference. If you land with your butt close to the springs, you'll need to kick very vertically, and this can put you at risk of just floating in the abyss without making contact with the wall. On the other end of the spectrum, if you take off with your head close to the far springs, you're going to get launched a bit more laterally towards the wall, and this can make it difficult to stop your momentum and catch in a holdable handstand. I prefer a nice happy medium in the middle of the box, but at the end of the day, you should do what works best for you. Wherever you choose to land, as you leave the bed, aim your kick up above the corner while actively leaving your chest down and back, letting your hips and feet lead the way. Stay in a hollow position on the way up, and reach for your catch when the corner is directly in front of your face. Now, how you grip the corner is entirely a matter of personal preference. I like to hold the edge with my second knuckles, pressing my fingers against the face with my thumbs on top, but plenty of other people use a turned out, parallel bar style grip, hooking their thumbs on the face and keeping their fingers on top. Regardless of how you choose to grip, as you catch, you're going to actively stabilize yourself and continue extending upward into the handstand with both your arms and your lower body. Make sure you're keeping your weight stacked out above the springs rather than over the ledge, then drop back in and resume running to complete the trick. In terms of visual reference points, I spot the bed as I drop in, but as soon as I turn around and land on my back, I stare straight at the corner and keep my eyes on it all the way throughout the catch. When I'm ready to drop back in, I shift my gaze back to the trampoline and watch it until I lose sight of it and return to my back. Now that you understand how no-tap vampires work, let's break them down into a few simple drills. You're going to start by squatting on top of a low wall, gripping the corner. Do a low power drop in, grab the corner on your way back up, and finish by sitting on top of the ledge. Focus on finding a comfortable placement in the bed, leading the return with your lower body, and leaving your chest back. When that's easy, grab the corner on your way back up, but this time pass yourself through a segmented half turn. When that feels comfortable, use your opposite leg to initiate the twist motion while you're still in midair, Spot the corner the entire time, and make sure you're staying hollow. This means if you twist left, you should be using your right leg to direct the twist, and make sure you're flexing your muscles the entire time so your body twists as one solid unit. Once you can fully complete the twist before you make contact with your hands, focus on keeping your hips high during the catch and increasing the time between your hands catching and your feet touching down. You can also try holding your leading leg up to build extra awareness and simulate the feeling of a handstand. Next, let's take a look at a couple supplemental drills you can do on the trampoline. We'll start with the Kaboom Stutz, which feels a lot like a vampire that stays in place. Once you can consistently catch in a proper handstand and keep bouncing, remove the Kaboom and try it from regular back bounces. You might find this quite a bit harder, because just like a real no-tap vampire, this requires more control over your angle of inversion. After that, head over to the face of a tall wall and do some inverted full turns that stay very close with your lower body. When you feel like you can get a good anchor and sink your weight in, try to touch the wall beneath yourself with your hands. When doing this, it's extremely important that your hips are staying above you the entire time instead of coming around you in a circular motion. Next, you're going to do the same tucked full turn, but reverse the order to catch hands, then feet. 
At this point, you're already doing a tucked, no-tap vampire to the face, which is a huge milestone, and when it feels consistent, you can start extending your lower body more and really show the handstand shape. To take your vampire to the top, take all this new muscle memory and technical knowledge you've just gained, return to the top of the short wall from the first drill, and just try the trick itself. At first, you're probably going to stay piked and overshoot the landing to step down on top, but once you manage to extend and keep your weight stacked over the springs, you can drop back in and enjoy your shiny new no-tap vampire. Let's take a look at some common no-tap vampire mistakes and how to either fix them or just avoid them outright. First and foremost, the biggest vampire mistake is lifting your chest as you leave the bed, which will force your hips around the side rather than keeping them above you and can also lead to getting stuck after just a quarter twist. It'll be extremely difficult to control your vampire if you don't complete the twist before catching, and if you go loose, scoop your heels behind you, or arch your back, the twist itself is going to be very difficult to do. Make sure you stay hollow, and lead the twist with your opposite leg and hip. Another major issue is letting your hips pass the corner during the catch. This tends to happen if you use too much power and stay in a pike the entire time, instead of extending your feet towards the ceiling as your hands make contact. It's counterintuitive and can be pretty scary to learn, but if you do everything correctly, your weight should stay out over the springs, not above the ledge. With that in mind, also remember that you should be aiming your kick up towards the ceiling, not towards the corner. If you use a ton of power, you might fly over the wall then fall to your hands, and that can be really rough on the wrists and difficult to balance. Lastly, if you seem to be doing everything right but still can't seem to control the catch well enough to drop back in, remember that you need to actively grip the corner, stay engaged, and physically place yourself into the correct position. Your balance and alignment will not take care of themselves automatically, it's a very deliberate, conscious effort. On that note, I'm going to wrap things up, but I hope this video gave you everything you need to learn No Tap Vampires. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in coaching or workshops, you can always message me on Instagram at Scott A. McDonald. And until next time, good luck, happy training, bye.